Hello guys, Operator 7 here, uh, bringing you the, my personal uh, view or my personal take on the SIG MCX Spear uh, or the SIG Spear LT. Um, so basically this is kind of what an airsoft does when it, they, they try to come as close to the real steel um, counterpart of, you know, uh, from the uh, real steel world. Um, so what I've done basically was uh, when the new SIG Spear LT came out, uh, you know, there were some resemblances with the old Virtus. So I got myself a tan Virtus um, and then I tried to make it look like the, 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 the you know, the, the SIG uh, Spear LT. Um, I, I know for a fact that a lot of people who have a natural real SIG sour virtus are trying to kind of see if the handguards do fit etc so i think there's a parallel there but anyways um in the make belief airsoft world this is what i felt was what could be similar or more similar to you know the real steel counterpart so i'm going to take you through a few things that i got that make sense for me uh you know, this, uh, I'll leave a link in the description of Airsoft Lab. They have a much better version than mine uh, because they were able to actually get the, the six hour grip that um, and painted everything in circle and whatnot. Well, I was working with a much lower budget, uh, even though it, it's still a very expensive budget, to be fair. So what, what, what have I done here? Uh, starting from the back, I got myself the, uh, this is a Magpul, um, replica stock it's uh, not the real my pool I will try to get the real one soon um, and I, I'll I think it's the S the, the SLK if I'm not mistaken I will leave that in in the video as well uh, as well as the link uh, it's a really nice looking stock then I got the foldable uh, stock adapter from 5KU which I will also leave the link in the description um, one of the things that I did was also I got the um, the, the charging handle, uh, the Eagle, Eagle Air charging handle. And then I've got myself a PTS uh, grip, which is really nice. It actually matches very well the same color of the, uh, the stock. Uh, I got myself as well a replica Tango 6 uh, for from um, Evolution Evolution Gear Airsoft, so they're really really nice, uh, and I'll have, as I mentioned before, a review separate to that to to this. Uh, then finally, moving on to the to the front, I have a Generation Three. I believe this is a ten inch handguard. Again, I'll 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 put on the video, and then finally, I've got the the uh, the flash hider from Airsoft, both from Airsoft Artisan. They make really good products, as I mentioned before. So this is how. It, oh, by the way, and this is the Kublai. Um, I think this is the the smoke gray mags, which I replaced the uh, uh, the, the the plate, the bottom plate from the. Uh, um, the, the tan ones. The tan ones also look quite nice, as you can see. Um, yeah, uh, the only thing I do to these so that the bullets can show out a little bit more, I open them up, I take the bullets out and I spray them. Uh, it look, they, they come out a lot better than, you know, from the stock mags, I would say. So, again, I think this build looks really cool. Um, very, you know, it's as realistic as it can be. Um, as similar as possible to its real steel counterpart uh, of course th there could be a few things that i could have done differently i don't know i hope you like it um leave your comments in the down in below in the description uh, and let me know your thoughts about it really and if you have tried as well like i did to get you know as close to the real deal uh, gun do you know do post your photos do share any videos you've got you know I th I'm really happy with how it turned out and as well in terms of performance I did put on a gate aster in it a uh, high torque motor and as you can see I got a, a flat trigger there which kind of uh, it's uh, brown so it really matches the the, the whole color <laughs> the whole multi multi shades of, of FD uh, which looks really cool I mean hope you guys enjoyed the video um, you know, let me know if you'd like me to mention any kind of, if you have any questions, uh, I'll be happy to answer them. Operator 7, over now. Thank you.